Okay, let's try one more example before things get super crazy. In this inequality, we see that it's linear. Let's go ahead and combine like terms, make it look a little bit nicer. When I do that, combine like terms, I get 2x plus 7 on the left. And on the right side, I get 2x plus 7. That's kind of weird. Uh, if I get all the x's to one side, I know how you have I would like to have the x's on the left, so minus 2x on both sides. And I end up with this. 7 is greater than 7. See, this is one of the things we have to pay attention to. When all of your variables cancel out, you have to be able to look at the statement and determine whether or not it's true or false. Is 7 greater than 7? Well, the response here is, is no, it's not. And when we have false statements like this, that usually tells me that I have no solution. What that means is the back up here, there is never a value of x where 2x plus 7 is greater than itself. It's never going to be greater than itself. Now what if I change things up a little bit? If on here I had had equal to and this were equal to, and that were equal to. Well, in that case, is 7 greater than or equal to 7? Yes. 7 is always greater than or equal to 7. And so what this tells me is that my response here would be all real numbers. That means any number that you think of, any real number, would satisfy this inequality. Now there is another way of saying all real numbers, and that is by using this symbol right here. That's how we can represent all real numbers.